The world is over 4 billion years old, so why do we say the year is something like 2023 instead of 4 billion? It doesn't make sense. Well, actually, I lied. It does make sense to me, and that's why I made this video to explain dates, including the Gregorian calendar, BC and AD, and BCE and CE. Today, the system we use to record dates is called the Gregorian calendar. It was named after Pope Gregory, and although it was created in 1582, it was based off the calendars of the ancient Romans and medieval Christian monks. Here are the important things you need to know. The first thing is that the birth of Christ is the year one. Now, obviously time existed before the birth of Christ, but the Gregorian calendar was made by Christians, so they thought that was a pretty good day to start counting from. Sorry, Buddha. And the second thing is that history is divided into two parts. There's BC, which is the part of history before the birth of Christ, and AD, which is the part of history after the birth of Christ. We'll start with AD because that's easier to explain. AD stands for Anno Domini, which is Latin for in the year of our Lord. Lord in this case meaning Jesus Christ. AD starts with the year one, Christ's birth, and covers all the years between then and now. Anyway, every AD date is that amount of years after the birth of Christ. For example, this video was made in AD 2023, which is 2023 years after the birth of Christ. Before we move on, it's worth mentioning that sometimes people get confused and think AD means after death. But this is wrong because AD starts with Christ's birth, not his death. So just remember, AD means Anno Domini, not after death. Do you understand Anno Domini? Anyway, now that we understand AD, let's talk about BC. BC stands for before Christ because BC is all the years before the birth of Christ going back to the start of humanity. BC dates are calculated by how many years something happened before the birth of Christ. For example, the first Olympics were held in 776 BC, meaning it happened 776 years before the birth of Christ. Something important to know about BC is that the dates count down instead of up, just like negative numbers. So if you lived in 5 BC, the next year would be 4 BC, and the next year would be 3 BC, etc, etc. So that's why a date like 1332 BC is further back in time than a date like 776 BC. Basically, the higher the number of a BC date, the further back in time it is. Before we move on, it's worth mentioning that there is no 0 BC. It just goes from 1 BC to AD 1. Do you understand? There is no 0 BC. You might have also seen dates followed by BCE and CE and wondered what it meant. Well, BCE stands for Before Common Era, and it's the exact same thing as BC. CE stands for Common Era, and it's the exact same thing as AD. Using BCE and CE is becoming more popular nowadays because it's a way of recognizing that not everybody believes in Christianity. Plus, historians now think that Jesus was actually born between 6 and 4 BC, or BCE, whichever you prefer. 